All right, and we're going live. We're going a little bit early today. I don't know if you can see me early before I hit this go live button, but it's uh, it's strange because I have to hit go live or I have to hit broadcast on my X split, um, which is my streaming software, and then I need to press go live on YouTube. Uh, so it's a little bit different, but happy Sunday, everybody. I'm actually going to just grab the stream link. Get my buddies to watch it. They never, uh, they never watch my streams. Sec here. I wonder if it's no, it wouldn't be the stream same stream every time because I reset it. Just one minute. Hopefully everybody is having a good oops, notifications blocked up. Fine. Had a good weekend. Alright, there we go. Let me bring the chat back up. Where's the chat go? There we go. Audio broken. Uh oh, what's happening? It's distorted. Give me a minute. Are you able to hear me now? Let me know. And is it still transformer like? Because I can't hear it. No audio? Or are we better now? Let me know. Of course I'm having these issues. Yes. Can anybody hear me? Let me know. If there's still no audio, I have, I'll have to switch something within. Um... I can see my voice going off though. Yeah, is it good? Okay, good. So something happened. It must have been when I was moving my mic around. Um, sometimes the audio cables get loose. Anyway, good morning. Uh, sorry about that. That was a little weird. I think we had that happen uh, another time before this. But anyway, I was just recording a video and it was fine. I, t I always try to test my audio and see if my lips are matching because that drives people insane. I mean, it drives me insane as well. Um, but usually it, it's pretty good. Um, I'll turn my mic up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so what was that? I don't even know what I was talking about now. But anyway, we have a few things going on. Video and it was fine. Just, I, oh. I, you guys can probably hear me. I just muted. I had my live stream going. Um, we have a few things going on. So there's the Unify Access. I'm working on a video for the Unify Access firmware update. I'm not sure if anybody's even... I mean, depending if you have Unify Access or not, you may not really care. But I think it's a cool feature. So I'm working on that. I was working on it before this live stream. It will release today. Um, we have the UA Pro and then we have that toolless rack. Let me go through some of this that I missed. Happy Sunday. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on the U6 Pro. So I don't have the U6 Pro yet. It will be here tomorrow. But we'll talk about that more soon. Um, morning, Alonzo. Good morning, Ferris. Good morning, Jeff. David. I know audio is broken. Nerbert. Let's see, audio, audio, mic busted. Let's go past that. Albert, happy Sunday. Virgil, how's it going? So we're good, we're good, we're good, okay. Uh, thanks for the recommendation for the USW24. It works great, the SFP port was easy to set up. Awesome, yeah, it's a, it's a great switch. Let's see. Seems like more of a delay between stream and chat this time, but that's all right. So I don't know if I have, uh, when we go, when I do these live streams, I could do it like instantaneous. Um, but obviously, it maybe, maybe I didn't set it up right. I might not have this morning. 
So let's go to UI.com and take a look at some things. I think something about my audio bitrate, but whatever. Yeah, so the U6 Pro released in Canada and the US. I think it may be, I don't know if it's available in Europe yet. I know it was in EA in Europe. Uh, I don't know if they took it out. Richard, good morning. How's it going? From Montreal. Awesome. Uh, so the U6 Pro, it sold out, sold out pretty instant. Um, I reached out to my contact at Ubiquity asking them to get one. This was before it was released in Canada. And they said they'd ship me out one maybe in their second release. Um, just because quantities are very limited right now. Anyway, I was able to get one on my own. So I canceled that order, I think. If they do end up sending me out one, um, I'll give mine away probably on a, on a live stream. Because I, I, I don't really need them, but I just want to do some testing with it. Wasn't the Dream Machine 369? Oh, for the price? Yes, so I'm Canadian. It's different. So our prices will be will be different. It's $379. I don't know if it was $369, but the US price is $379. Well, there usually is a bit of a delay, but we could do it on YouTube. I don't know. I don't think I could switch it now. I don't think so, but you could do it like it's instant feedback. Uh Corgi, good morning. How's it going? Or Corgi, I'm guessing with the dog. Zistek, good morning. Or Tim, how's it going? Yeah, so this is $399. It's probably sold out as well. Or $379. Yeah, it's sold out. There's a lot of things that are sold out right now. Let's go back to the U6 Pro. Let's look at the specs. I will be doing a video on it. It will most likely be sometime this week. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, it's a Wi-Fi 6 Pro, um, 5.3 gigabit per second aggregate with the 5 gigahertz on 4x4 and the 2.4 gigabit uh, 2x2 MIMO. I forget the speeds on that. 573.5, 300 plus concurrent, and then, you know, guest traffic isolation, blah, blah, blah. Everything else that you could do in the Unify controller. Um, the price is $188 Canadian, which isn't too bad. I believe the specs on the U6 LR... Are better than this access point though but you are paying you will be paying a bit more money for the u6 lr so that's cool um i'm glad that they released this and i was able to get one i was gonna buy two but i decided i don't, I don't really need to there's, there's no point unless i'm going to be buying it for customers i don't think it's out here yet okay so the other thing that released and it sold out again um, is that Toolless Mini Rack that we did a video on uh, just kind of my thoughts about the about the rack. So it's 249 bucks, which is uh, a little expensive for a rack, I would think. And it's not rack mountable. It's I mean, wall mountable. It's only 6U and this is $249 US. So that's probably about $340 Canadian, something like that. Thank you. I hope I have a great morning as well. It's been going well. Currently only have one HD in the NVR. Can I just add another one or two without it? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, if you're using the UNVR, it's hot swappable. You, you, it's recommended you should do the same size though. This I have no idea about. Um, that stuff's early access. I can't really talk about it until they release a video on it or it's in general release i have no idea what it is even uh just for interest sake do you think the we'll have a biometric reader in the future i think it would be cool and i think it would be a good update on the this reader here on the reader pro i don't i don't know i don't know if they've they thought about that beforehand and maybe it could be built into it we'll see and yes smash that like button we got 53 people here 10 likes but yeah, I, I try, I reached out again every time he, the, my marketing person probably hates me because every time something new comes out, I email them. I mean, I email them quite a bit. I don't always hear back because I'm sure I get annoying, but when any little thing new comes out, I'm, I'm asking, requesting, uh, 
requesting to get it. I wish they would just send it at this point, but so I reached out and I'm seeing if I could get one of these. Um, I think it would be really cool to do a video on it and then build a lab out of this little rack. New Yorker, thank you for the $5, $4.99. Thank you very much. That gives me $6.31 Canadian. That's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. You sound weird. Is it is it back again? Is my robot voice back again? Let me know. It's something with the bitrate. Hmm. Weird. Um, I'm not too sure about the Dream Machine SE because it was uh it's still early access. Not sure. I hate to bring it up, but I wish the G3 Instant was standalone. I think a lot of people wish it was because it's a small device and it could easily be standalone. Okay, so I'm all, I'm all good here. Okay, okay. Um, I don't, maybe you were watching the beginning of the screen. I have no idea. Stella, good morning. Um, got wire. Okay, so we're good. Awesome. No robots. Yeah, I do remember that happening at the beginning of, uh, of another stream before. Now, what was I talking about? Crap, I forget. Uh, oh, anyway, yeah, about the rack. So he, I, I just wish they would send me it, but I'll email them every time something new comes out. I think I even emailed them about these uh, doorbell skins that came out. There was something else too that just came out. I think it's uh, this SFP accessory kit, which is kind of neat. So you get like, you could either pick 10 or 25 gig um, and then one... I don't really know what comes with the kit. I guess, oh, SFP, SFP plus to SSP plus converter, passive copper cable. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's neat. But yeah, the Unify Access stuff. I've been getting a lot of requests for doing Unify Access. Virgil, thank you for the 10 pounds, I guess that is. Raising me chat value up to 20 bucks. That's a lot of coffees for the week. Um, No reviews on the Dream Router yet because it's still EA. Yeah, I'm not drinking Timmy's this morning. I've already had, this is my third coffee. I've been trying to, I should probably cut down on caffeine. Um, my third coffee, two I've had at home. I did have a Timmy's this morning. That with the Dream Machine rudder would, I mean, uh, dream, yeah, so the rack looks really cool. Um, like I said in the video about my thoughts when it was first released within, um, or Ubiquity did a video of it. It looks like the subway tray. And now I'm now you probably won't be able to get that out of your mind, but let's take a look at the subway tray. Subway bun holder. Which isn't a bad thing either. I mean it could be a really good thing. Uh just depending on the style of rack that you like, but it looks fairly sim similar to that. But it's gonna be easy to slide in and out um all your gear. And on the side you could lock in any of your Unify equipment into the rack. This PDU, it's not out yet, but you could face it at the back as well. It doesn't need to sit at the front. TCP IP, thank you for the $10. That's awesome. Thank you very much. What's the plan for the 30K subscribers? I don't know. I So I was a little... My goal this year was to hit 30,000 subscribers, and I'm, I'm almost positive we're going to do that. Let's see... Like we're at 29,207 right now. So I, usually like just going based off this in my last 28 days, which is, which is low, um, 1,239 subscribers in the last 28 days, I'm going to make it to 30,000 before we even get to the end of December. I haven't thought about it, but I'll probably, um, I need to look through the YouTube giveaway rules again to see if anything's changed. I might do a giveaway of something. Thanks for the great content. Thanks for subscribing. It's awesome. Yes, it looks like the bread tray for sure. And I use my smart uh, internal NFC instead of NFC card to open the door access. Depending on your door, or I think your Android phones can right now, but Apple can't. It would be nice to use for pre-staging. That's actually a good, uh, I didn't even think about that. Pre-staging jobs with it. It would be great. Um, would love to see... 
Uh, would love to see access video on a normal door with a mag lock. Yeah, it, it's hard depending on your rules. Like if we put a mag lock anywhere in Ontario, you have to have like a fire alarm system with a disconnect. I probably won't do that. Actually, I did my first Unify access video. I did put a mag lock. I don't know if I showed how to do it though. So where my network rack was downstairs, it's not there anymore, but I, I put a, ma a little crappy mag lock on the door. Hmm. I don't know if it was this one or not. That one. Oh crap. I don't remember. It was one of them. Anyway, just look up Unify Access in my channel and you should be able to find it. But I did put a mag lock on it. Uh, you have to make sure that they're 12 volt uh, accessories. What's the best firewall for home network? Really depends. Home network, UDM Pros work great. Uh, PF Sense works awesome as well. SG1100. Depends on your bandwidth, like what you're paying for for your ISP. If you get the SG1100, I think it only does 500 uh, M, uh, megabits per second. Hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy the time. Yeah, so I guess American Thanksgiving is Thursday, possibly. I did find some small NFC dots to size the quarter stick on the back of your iPhone. Okay, cool. I mean, there is going to be a lot more coming out and things that we can't talk about. Um, yeah. That's going to make door access a bit easier. Good morning. I just got a second U6. Haven't used it yet. I want to return it and get the U6. I know you just said you haven't got... No, I haven't, I haven't got it yet. But I think the specs on the U6 Pro are less than the U6 LR. I'm going to finish my basement early next month. Uh, we'll be running a lot of cut cable, but it will be out of ports for the PO you need to buy. Yes, you do. Yeah, right now you probably can't order too much. I know the one thing that you can order, which I just ordered for a customer. Uh, actually, I should leave that open. I'm still doing the video on it. Um, is the enterprise switches, but then you're you're paying a, you're paying a lot more money for the enterprise switches. Depending what you need, where I think they just came out with a yeah forty eight PoE enterprise switch for almost two grand. I don't think you want to spend that much money. They have the Switch 48, but you need PoE. Oh, you could get the Switch Pro right now. 48, 739 bucks. What's the difference? Switch Pro 48. Oh, this one's no PoE. Crap. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so this one sold out. 729 bucks. We just installed one of these at a client's place. Uh, for home, I always try to use... Uh, UDM. So I have a UDM here. I just did one video on it. Just kind of like a, my review on, on it. I use a UDM Pro at home. Um, but when the new UDR comes out, I'll be using that probably at my mom's. I'll do a few videos here. Then we'll do kind of like an on the job type video. I'll drive my mom's, install a few cameras in the UDR. Ooh. There's a Switch Pro PoE, but that's that's pretty expensive. Yeah, so we quoted, uh, we just bid on a job or they contacted us through YouTube um, for a job that's local to me, about 40 minutes from me. What we're going to be doing at this job, we're going to be doing a cable cleanup. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess, so I'll be ripping all the cables out, reterminating them, um, bundling them with Velcro. We're going to put in a PFSense SG2100 at first, and we're waiting for a 6100, and then this Switch Enterprise, and then a few a uh, few nano hds because they're available i'm gonna try to see if they will let me record that but i'm not 100 percent sure i'll ask the client when i go see them tomorrow on your upcoming unify controller video so i already did the unify video i did that the other day i might do a, a troubleshooting video oh it's number two right now Oh, you know what? I have Unify Access in there. Here we go. So this is the new controller version video thingy. Um, but yeah, I might do a, a troubleshooting video with whatever Google kind of, or you know what?
maybe I'll put it out to the community what people want to know how to troubleshoot and then we'll just build that into a video it could be things like the T uh, DNS uh, timeout or TCP latency uh, VPN issues you know there's probably a ton of issues that people are having and then maybe we'll build that into a full video But yeah, on that if I could do the on the site job, I think or videotape that, I think that would be really good. I'm also looking for another mic that I could just kind of clip to my shirt so it's better sound quality. Do a lot of the G3 instance have an annoying white line on the bottom on the video feed? Not that I know of. Uh maybe check the lens to see if you got a scratch on it. Or maybe you just got a bad batch. I don't even think they're available right now, are they? Yeah, they're sold out. Let's see in the I have oh my window shut. I have two just sitting up there. I love them. I think the G3 instants are wicked. Um you could put that cell phone battery back up on it and it will last a day, two days on that, depending on the size of the battery. And this, they finally took out, they used to have a new showing that this was a new camera, which it wasn't. So it was definitely a uh, a bug that they didn't properly do. Actually, let's go to my Twitter. I found this kind of funny. I bring it up on my Unify controller, but it probably exposed some things. Here's my Twitter. I responded, yo, Ubiquity, not sure if this is a spelling mistake or not. I do like the blocky though. So now let me move my head. Here it says, select the countries to blocky by geographical location, which uh, I think they, they said they fixed it. Where, where did they respond? Thanks for the uh, feedback. This was identified and fixed and will be implemented in future update. I did notice that they had a few different spelling mistakes within their new controller. I think my father who I monitor knocked it over. Oh, that's too bad. Hopefully you could get, you know what you should try to do? I would try to RMA it. Um, you could go to rma.ui.com. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Whoops. I don't want to show my order history. There we go. Uh, so I had, actually I could show this. That's fine. So here, all you need to do is put in the device serial number and then you could send it away. And if they don't send you a shipping label ask them for a shipping label because you don't want to pay for the shipping label on something that's broken um yeah i wouldn't tell them you dropped it or anything like that but it's a it's a way to do things i'm not too sure what else i really have to talk about i mean i could try to look at my instagram to see what else is new um this week what am i doing this week so tomorrow I'm going to look at the job where we're putting in the SG2100, the enterprise switch. Um, and then we're looking, I'm going to look at another job for a warehouse and that's my day. I'm not doing anything else. Today I have a couple consultations. Uh, Tuesday I have a cut over Thursday. I have to go run like 15 cables or something like that. I think, I think that's it. I'm pretty much somewhat caught up in work. Oh, there's one more thing. I got to go look at a business for running cables and, uh, implementing unify access if i can this is kind of cool is the g4 ptz to it depends how much how big your wallet is uh really if if you have the extra two grand or whatever the price point is and you're wherever you live i've used the i haven't personally like hands-on physically installed one but i have used them for a customer before and they're really good cameras So Steven, I don't know which Unify control. So I did a video based on that new Unify controller, the release where we could lock, um, where we could lock the phone or client to an access point. But they came out with Unify Network Application 6.5.53. That was two days ago. And this, yeah, it still says that it's a release candidate. I don't even know if this one has it in it um, because that other release was this one. 6.5.51. Oh, so it must have it. It must have it. Do I have that? Let's see. Oh, you know what? This probably isn't in um, the UDM Pro yet. I don't think I'm at that Unify version. Let me just see though. 
So I'm still sitting, if you load up the newest firmware for the UDM Pros, you'll be getting 6.4.54, which is behind this one. I can't really say if this one's stable, but I do know I was using 6.5.51 and it was good. I didn't have any issues with it anyway. Peter, how's it going? Good morning or good afternoon. I need to open my window. Um, what else? What else? So we did this job. I don't know if I talked about this last week. I probably did. Um, this was just kind of a cable. It wasn't really a cable cleanup job. What was happening here is they were taking over this conference building to do, um, I can't really get into what they were doing, but we were supposed to reuse pretty much all the data jacks. Turned out that they were all pretty well cat three cable, which we can't run data over. So we had to run new cables. There, the longest cable was about 310 feet, which was pushing that 100 meter, um, 100 meter point. But I mean, it looks all right for what it is. This is what it was looking like before. So it was a bit of, it was a bit of spaghetti and, uh, some things didn't work. These patch panels down here, that thing is ancient. I haven't seen a patch panel like that in a long time. And the majority of the cables went back to this Bix field, which is a cat three cable. It was an interesting job. It was it was decent to do. It's gone now. Six five. Yeah, that's the problem. When I re when I release, I get excited and then I'll release videos on new firmware updates. But the six point five point five one was a big update with the uh, locking the access point. They they always release they always release new versions like the next day. Do you install the Uni? I haven't installed the Unify Wi-Fi six G Pon yet. Nope. Oh, it's 3.13 in the morning. Wow, that is early. What Velcro do I recommend? It's kind of hard. They do, there is different type of Velcro, I guess. I get mine from my distributor here in Canada, but uh, Velcro. Cable Velcro. See, I think this stuff, actually, that, this stuff doesn't look too bad. There's some that you can get that's super like thick and I, I, I can't stand it. I like the thin stuff. Probably something like this. Uh, no, I don't like this. See how it has like that. Oh, you can't see my face in the way. When I zoom in, there's like that fur on top. I, I don't like that. There is different brands. I don't even know. They probably all have it. Yeah, that one does too. Oh, here we go. This one. This is the type that I would use more than any. Let's grab this link. Throw it in chat. There we go. Uh, any way to download any of your videos without breaking any rules? I have no idea. To be honest, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, that I am very, I'm unsure of. I've never downloaded anything like that before. But one thing you can't do is repost my videos. I've had some, uh, I've had some copy, <laughs> copyright claims. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Most of the channels who have done it are... They're just very small channels and they're just trying to rip off some things. But um, yeah, you can't repost other people's work without letting them know because it shows up right under here. There shouldn't be any copy. There, it, I had like 10 on this height vision camera video and I didn't even really care, but I just, you could do removal requests and things like that. I, I don't know if YouTube allows you to download them. I'm sure you could find a way. You buy the ones that are pre-cut. I don't buy pre-cut. It just gets more expensive and not even that. Um, depending on my bundle lengths, I don't know what I'm going to need. Like, uh, did I take it? No, I didn't take a picture of that job. My favorite one, my favorite looking rack that I've done is this rack here. This was for a residential client. Oops. I just like how it goes down the backboard and then back up. And we've tried, and I have mimicked that quite a few different places. It depends on the workspace that we're going in. It just looks a lot more cleaner. We didn't run any of the cables. Um, the guy who owned this place, he's an electrician. So these are all Velcroed down, but they're not loose. It, there's a piece of Velcro that's actually screwed into this wood or a couple going down. And it, yeah, it just looks really neat. I love it. 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay on here because I don't have a whole ton to talk about unless uh, there's more questions. Stay on for another 10 minutes unless we get a bunch of questions in. Yeah. So this week, new videos. Today will be the Unify Access video, which is uh, going to be just that doorbell function. Um, I'm sure... Yeah, it's probably not going to be a blow up video, but I mean, it's interesting to me, so I'm going to post it. Um, then we'll do the U6 Pro. I need to get back into the Grand Stream videos. I've been waiting on the Grand Stream stuff just because there's a lot of, um, a lot of VoIP issues right now in the world. So I've kind of held back on that. I don't want to really promote VoIP if it's not stable at the current time, even though there's a ton of people using it right now. Uh, and then we have some other, I've been thinking about still doing all that TP-Link video series. I'm going to go back and we're going to redo the, or not redo, sorry. We are going to do, where did it go? So Unify Access Setup video, we're going to walk through that. It, you're not going to see me installing any door strikes and things like that. That may be another video once I go to this one client. But for the majority, it's just going to be here in the office connecting things to my UA hub. Um, yeah, unless unless I can get into somebody's office and they'll let me videotape it. Um, what can I do to protect my equipment from lightning? Just lost my UDM Pro. Oh, that sucks. Uh, do you, did you have it on like a surge protector or UPS? Do you have any equipment that's outdoors? So I don't use Plex. That's the thing. I've had lots of people request that, but I haven't used Plex. So I'm not too sure. And I would assume that there's tons of community posts on that. Yes, smash that like button. We're at 28 likes, 72 people. Happy holidays to you as well. And thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot of content that goes on in the weekend even the people that i follow i'm always waiting for new videos to come out and there really isn't nobody likes doing videos on the weekend for some reason is there a alternative to deleting protect video captures rather than say so do you hmm i mean i never delete any of my video captures once it hits the end of the hard drive it just rewrites anyway Well, I mean, they probably are useless against uh, lightning. I mean, if you get a direct lightning strike, you're, pretty much all your equipment is useless. But a surge protector will should help you at some point. Unless it's directly outside. Like if you have a... I, I have a flex switch outside. If that gets hit, it may go down my wires. And you could get shielded cabling throughout your house. That would help. Um, we don't use shielded cabling here as a standard. This is my switch outside. You could use these, uh, which I actually never hooked up. They have these East Surge Protector, ETH, I think they're called. ETH. Yeah, this thing right here. I don't know how useful they are. I, I've been waiting on another one. I guess I could just order it um, and see how they work. But it's not like I'm going to be testing, hitting it with lightning. APC are good, yep. Uh, any other APs you have testing in the pipeline? I don't know what else is new. I've reached out to a few people who I don't want to pay for the access points just because they're so expensive. Um, sure. I wouldn't mind trying out Aruba's new 6E, but that's very expensive as well. And my contact at Aruba, she, or they do the instant, instant online. So I, the 6E, I don't believe is a part of the instant on. Aruba 6e. I think that's just one of the and I don't even know who else to do. Like there's Aruba, there's Ruckus. Um I just watched David Bumble. He did a video on the Cisco line, Cisco Small Business. Kind of looks interesting. Um, I just don't know who to reach out to for that stuff. So we'll see. Your oh that sucks. Yeah, I mean, the surge protector, you could put it in. It may provide a bit of protection, but if you're getting direct lightning strike, I mean, nothing's really going to help. Let's see. 
swapped out my unified DAC cable uh, for my switch and noticing improvement. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. AOC cable. Awesome. I use the Ubiquiti DAC cables. I, I They're fine for me. And they're not too much money. I think I have a bunch of them in stock, actually. How much are they? A couple bucks. I use these ones quite a bit. The little 0.5. They're only 20, 20 bucks for something like this. I was going to do a video on, I don't know. I'm still, I think I would, I think I have to get enough new accessories to do a video on it. Oh, they took that off a of new as well. So the G4 doorbell cover, maybe. Um, and the G3 flex cover. Problem with the G3 flex cover, like these things are, these are expensive. 62 bucks for three uh, little, they're like rubber covers. I do have two flexes and it may look better in my garage to have, well, maybe not camo. I wouldn't do marble either because marble is so close to the original color. Same with concrete. So I'd either do wood or black. I'm not too sure because I haven't used the U, uh, UDR or the smart sensor. I would assume you probably could. There you go. So they install whole house surge protectors that install in your electrical panel. Awesome. I've also been thinking about doing, I was talking about this last week, doing some more or doing some home automation videos. Um, I'm just not too sure what to do yet. For me, the majority of the like home automation stuff, when I get home at night, I would like to walk in my door and the lights to come on. That's like the biggest thing. Cause when I open up the door, we have the lights off and my cats, they're always waiting at the front door cause they could hear us. Um, and I don't want them to run out without me noticing them. So that might be something that I automate. I do have a couple Lutron um, light switches right now. I just don't know what else to automate. I wouldn't mind getting a blackout blind that, you know, I could automate that as well. For when I am hit, hit a button, I'm about to do recording, all these lights come on, um, and then the blind goes down. I think that would be pretty neat. Do you have any issues with the unify with the protect not loading when inside your network? It will show cameras when I'm outside of my network, but never loads. Hmm. Um, not typically. I can't say I've had that issue. I don't know if that would be firewall issues, possibly, depending on what you have set up. Have you tried, I mean, restarting the app or deleting it? I haven't had local issues. I've had issues where I can't connect to it remotely. And that's because the Unify Protect app, the remote access turned off for whatever reason. I think it was, I think that was after I did a firmware update. All right, five more minutes and I'm out of here. I'm going to finish this video. I got a client in about an hour and a half. So I want to get this video finished. Um, I still have these things. I still have this Amplify Mesh that I'm not using. I should probably give that away. Uh, I did a video on it. I thought they were new. They were not new. They were about three and a half years old or something like that. The video didn't do overly well. It works decent. I mean, it's not a bad mesh system, but I have it, it's been collecting dust for since the video was released. So maybe on my 30,000 sub stream, I'll give away this. Um, potentially a U6 Pro if I'm sent one and something else. I don't know. Maybe we'll do like a UDM Pro giveaway or I don't know, something like that. We'll do, maybe we'll do three different giveaways. We'll do like a third. It's not really going to be placements because what would happen, the last giveaway I did, it was kind of just random. Whoever was in the chat, we enter a keyword and it just picks it randomly. So maybe possibly, don't hold this to me, but maybe we'll do a UDM Pro giveaway. Uh, U6 Pro if I could get another one and that other mesh system. Yeah, I, I saw that Chris did a video on the home automation. Um, I've been work. I have a home assistant or whatever the heck it's called running on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, can Let's Encrypt SSL certificate solution work only on the UDM Pro or does it require? So the problem with that is it will, whenever you put in a certificate, if you reboot your device, it will, you'll need to reinstall it. The G4 doorbell is awesome. I love it. I love the doorbell. I think it works great. 
for mesh i really like the wi-fi 6 tp link deco i they sent me wi-fi 6 deco i was believe i was supposed to get it back or give it back but the marketing guy switched i still have the deco sitting here plus three other 48 port switches and a bunch of access points I Cody just swapped out three Unify access point for Grand Stream and wow, what a huge difference. Cool. I uh I don't know who to reach out for to Grand Stream to get some of their Wi-Fi 6 stuff. Um I've been trying to and I can't. Yeah, Willie Willie really likes them. I mean Grand Stream stuff, I had a Grand Stream Wi-Fi 5 access point works well. You need a new UDM Pro. Yeah, so I, I said that it was kind of gonna be region locked when I first did a uh First did the giveaway, so it was only going to be U.S. and Canada, North America, just for the shipping. Um, we did, I did give away a U6 Lite a while ago. I think, I think the person who won was in Spain, and I just ended up paying for it. It was like 80 bucks or something like that. I don't think I'm going to hold people back for where they live um, with these giveaways. So if, they, if for some reason the shipping is just way too much money, then I'll just paypal the money so they could buy udm pro or something like that i don't know we'll figure it out and i have to look at the youtube rules first to see what we're what i'm allowed to do um i'm pretty sure i could i could still do it uh but any last questions before i get out of here i'm gonna wait a couple minutes and then that will be it finish this video cool down a bit it is going to be a fairly nice day out. Um, the sun's outside. There was ice on my car this morning when I went and got coffee. I will wait because I think the chat is delayed a little bit for some reason today. Um, I may do another video too on what uh, my favorite networking tools. I did a video about it before, but they uh, it has now um, grown. So I have some other new tools that I like. And I believe vertical cable, I think, if they do send me it, vertical, vertical cable, eye punch. So this eye punch tool, I think I may be getting a couple of these to give away as well. So they have this eye punch tool. I really like it. Um, if, you've, if you follow me on TikTok, uh, you probably see me use it. It's just a crimping tool instead of using a 110 punch. But they have a new version of this for shielded cable. So anybody in the EU or whoever does standardized shielded cabling, this is going to be the way to go. Way easier to terminate cables. Yes, the jacks are proprietary, but it's worth the extra 50 cents or whatever it costs. Uh, do you happen to know if the UDM Pro SE is likely to become available again? I have no idea. It, I mean, it will become available again, I'm sure. It's just everything sold out right now. I do not have the new uh, SE. So I'm in Canada and we don't have EA here, unfortunately. And they don't send me anything EA anyway, because I can't review it. Oh, no worries, David. No worries. All good. Uh, I don't hold people to, to being late. Apparently this 11 o'clock time slot does better though. I was starting at 10 a couple weeks ago. And I mean, we, di we didn't have as many people at that time. So we will stick or I will stick to 11 a.m. I may do random streams here and there later at night throughout the week uh, for people who don't typically catch my uh, catch these streams. But anyway, I'm going to end the live stream and I will be back on Sunday, watch or next Sunday at 11 a.m. Watch out for my new Unify Access video that's going to be going out probably in the next hour. Um, and then we'll release some other videos this week. So happy Thanksgiving if you're in the United States. I think it's on Thursday. Um, and for everybody else, have a good weekend. Take care.